Hi everybody, what what's here and welcome back to Football Manager where we need a point to secure uh, our place in the championship for next season. We've got four games left to go. Um, a point for us or um, Portsmouth and Luton um, failing to win all of their games will see us safe. Um, now we've had two chances to secure that. We lost it to Charlton 2-1, then we lost it to Derby 3-1. Um, next up is Good Friday game away at Fulham um, where uh, Portsmouth and Luton both play as well so hopefully this will be the game that sees us safe and yeah, we've got a couple of days to get there because of the overrun on the previous episode um, Man City has stalled over our bid for Lamine Kida um, Jones reports on Cook so I think that bid there was we'd give them 100 grand if we got promoted to the Premier League which seems like a bit of a Sorry, 50 grand. Yeah, if we get promoted next season, we'll give you 50 grand. That's uh, an interesting way to do it, isn't it? Um, Bullcott stays back. So we are waiting some decisions from some of those youngsters. We smoosh it. Playing for them. It's going to be a really tough game, this one. Um, so, the defeat the last time, I think they beat us 4 0, if memory serves. Um, so, they're following from Skybet 1 1 draw with QPR. Their fifth. Be tough for us. Can you get the job done? It's impossible to feel any positive. Just see what happens. I can't affect it. I lean on Rocky heavily. Rossiter, happy. Time for a briefing reminder. Um, Chelsea still want me. We haven't applied for the job. Um, interestingly, though, let's uh, have a quick shuffle the, in with a job advert. <sighs> Five million a week we could spend in wages. Unreal. That is unreal. Anyway, uh, hold a team meeting. We expected to avoid, no, we weren't. Please, that we got within one point of safety. Give him your all. I don't want anyone to focus on the fact we only I'll go out there, put a solid performance, we should be just fine. Don't be too concerned. Good. Whew, it's always nice when you get those right. And uh, agreed with us. Wants to be a breakthrough prospect. I'm fine with that. So he wants a two year contract. Not getting the early great rise. Boom, boom. If you play 10 games, you can get. Add clause optional for contract extension of two years. Let's see what he does with that. 
of 800. There we go. Finalize that deal. So hopefully we can get those three youngsters in for a net zero and if we get promoted, which is not a problem, we give them 50 grand, I mean that's nothing, that's pennies. Here we go, here we get match day and we've hit it. Um, they're in strong form, we're in fair form, probably going to get a, a, a beating here but one of those things bows out injured. Vice in from Pavilion. Let's bring Rossiter in instead of Sanders, maybe. It's an anchor man. Sanders in instead of Manvelian. Right, let's get going. This is the only game that matters in terms of oh sorry, the only set of fixtures that matter. Sentiment. Vice brings it forward. There's an off but short. Cullen offside. Was they leave against Portsmouth? Vice. Find right Phillips. Can he torment his man? He can. Pulls it back. Vice blocked. Hume. Rossiter. McGlone. Hume. Right Phillips. Hume again. Hits one from distance while they post. Vice should have hit his shot first time. Decided to take a touch. The defender managed to get a block in. So now that throws it in. Vice to Hume. Can hit one, blocked by the defender. So now that the can hit another one. He does this time, and it's a good save by Gallagher. On a kick. Capani. Sanderson. Capani can deliver again. He does. And swing all the way by Fulham. Throw it to Fulham on the right. Stolen by Capani, who goes along down the line to Rocky. He's got the legs on his man, he's got Wright Phillips at the back if he wants to use him. He does. Wright Phillips strike hits the defender. Finds Rossiter, who fires one just wide of the post. Still nil nil. Seven shots already for Blythe, only one of them on target, however. 
I'm going to work the ball into the box now. Musa finds Hibbert. It's Pompey equalised. Hughes crosses. The guy got the back smuggled away. Back in Fulham. And Hibbert down the right. Crosses. Flipped away by McGlowan into Fidalgo. Who curls one towards the far corner. Barlow catches and makes it look easy. Zanella, free kick, forward it to Parney. He's going to go on a run, gives a device. Who is going to go on a run? He's going to hit one. He does, it's Tim, on the near post. Sunderland losing to Rotherham Palace 2 0 up against Cardiff. Rotherham 2 0 up now against Sunderland. Palace 3 0 against Cardiff now. Vice Capani is going to hit one. He does straight at Kelleher. Really not taking my chances this game. Cullen. And a free kick hits the outside of the post. Capani picks up his seventh yellow. Zanella wins the ball. Capani, one goal shy of his uh, 30 grand payoff. Rocky into the area. Chance, and it's a really tame finish straight to kill her yet again. Half time. So the better team, probably the away side, but it is marginal. Portsmouth drawing. And Luton losing. Looking good for safety, I would say. Of course, the point here guarantees it for us anyway, no matter what happens in other games. And got Kelleher. Kicks it straight out for a throw. I find I've had three away, difficult away games in a row. Cross in. Oh, Fidalgo. The missed header by. And blow, I think it was. Was it McGraw or was it Walcott? I think it was Walcott. That's his first missed head all season. So went to Fulham. Hibbert. Playing about with him at the back. Let's give it away to Capani inside the vice. He can hit one. He does. Good save by Kelleher. Capani crosses. Got a kill by Munoz. Ben Phillips not having a great game. Might be away from Boha or Super Sub. Musa. Cross back to Montero. Find Munoz. Got wide on the left. Inside Naji blocked. Rice brings it away at pace. Use it, give it, and then brings it back to World Cup in second in possession. Dangerous free kick Capani. Straight at Kelleher. It would be fitting to have to pay out on his goal bonus uh, in this game if he was to equalise. Is going to come on. Ross is not having the greatest game, might make way for Dreha. Maybe not. Oh, free kick Cullen. Barlow gathers.
because it'll rock you, turns his man. He's got a chance to hit one. He does. Capon runs it out for a throw. Okay, so if we switch Rosset and Hume, Hume can go deep line play me again. In a supporting role. Also, that comes off for Sanders. Who goes into a register role. And what do we do with the rest? Rice off for Damico. Here it goes. Portsmouth 2 2 now with Barnsley. Fidalgo blocked Cullen. Fidalgo again. Off the tricker. Sanderson away. Free kick rolling. It's in. What a free kick that is. And it's 2 0. Forward up against Derby. McGlow with a throw to Brewer. Goes it up to Munoz. Cullen played in. Good block. That was our man Walcott. Capani with a free kick to Emiko. Capani's going to hit one. Tipped over. On a kick. Four minutes to go. Capani delivers. Tricker clears. Sanderson goes to nothing. The chances have been there and we just failed to take them. Two and a half minutes of injury time remain. Broha, Hume, Sanders looks to bring it over halfway. Gives it to D'Amico who beats his man. Looks to play someone in. Rocky! He scored his 12th of the season from a narrow angle. 2-1. Two minutes of injury time remain. Keep your eyes out for Capone. Here comes Dembico. Sanders to Hume. Is he going to hit one? Loses the ball. Rocky has it to Broha. McGlow needs to move. McGlow can cut inside. He can, but he loses it. Ronan. Watkins. This one looked to bring it away. Montero. McGlow to Wolcott. Back to McGlow. Wolcott. 75 seconds left. Sanders goes down the left. Here is Capani. Gets tackled. Picks up the loose ball. Crosses it back in. And Kelleher tips the cross come shot around the post. 20 seconds left. Zanella to Sanders. To Zanella. Tackled by Hibbert. Gets rid of it down the line to Cullen. And that is a 2 1 defeat. Sanderson blocks the chance. And that should be the final whistle. Goal by Rocky, but ultimately ends in disappointment. Should not have lost that game. Here it is, Portsmouth get a point. Luton grab a point at the death. Both can get to 46. We're on 48. Survival has been assured. Um, in terms of aspirations, 15th still a possibility, 14th less likely, and they're all lining up behind us. Rotherham up next in three days. But we've avoided relegation, which is fantastic news. Um, we're going to look at some contracts for some of our um, players now that we've secured our future um, and for myself. I think I'll 
I'll do that now before before the Rotherham game. Um, so I'll be right back and show you what I've done. Okay, so we've had a look at some contracts. I'll show you them in a second. Uh, first of all, there's just confirmation that we've avoided relegation. Accidentally clicked on the one above. Just more confirmation. Um, not sure I understand the difference, but anyway, we're now safe. Port Vale get 26 grand from the Barlow deal. Between 26 games. Rossiter, five games away from making 20 appearances. Still good, a little getting on in the airs. Probably hitting the peak. Uh, we asked for a new contract because of the interest from uh, our friends at Chelsea. And uh, the board didn't buy it. And then I said, come on, it's what the fans want as well. They went, okay, fine. Um, let's see if we can actually just can we actually look at those board meeting histories yeah there we go uh, interesting services and it said uh, actual interest doesn't exist in any great volume it's a bit harsh isn't it cheeky bugger he tried to buy them as well by the way last year um, and then we agreed when I said about the the fans want the same for the club. They agreed it. So um, I'm expecting to be offered a new deal shortly. Having kept our team in the league. Alan Pardew. After the Middlesbrough job. Unemployed at the minute, is he? When was his last job? Uh, milestones. Uh, he got fired in November from Birmingham. I think we got him sacked actually. Um, anyway, uh, Sunderland fall into Scarbet League One. Yes, they do. Copy by Rotherham, who are now all but safe. Portsmouth and Luton have to be massive favourites to go down. Uh, we've paid out our bonuses um, for avoiding relegation. 70,000. Happily pay that out. Um, and no doubt we'll pay out some bonuses as well when we secure our final position. Um, which could be quite a bit. Um, Pre-match analysis for Fulham. It's coming up in a you note. Know, uh, post match analysis by mistake um, hold a team meeting it's got contract extension triggered yes I extended his contract because he had two years left on it oh sorry I was meant to talk you through the um, the contract situation so we'll start at the bottom um, Demario uh, Ray Phillips uh, Demario Ray Phillips sorry his um, contract was due to end next summer uh, we kind of quite right you had to give him a, a significant pay rise um bag in line with with all the other with all the other players and i'll show you what that makes the um once everyone's signed up i'll show you what that means for the actual blend we haven't offered marvin vice one even though he does have this 10 million uh, release clause i would take it um walcott we couldn't agree terms with um no other lumber so we've still got those to sort out tom scott we extended for two years uh, Dion Sanderson, um, we couldn't agree terms with. Uh, Max Sanders, we didn't offer. No Rossiter, Rocky, we couldn't agree terms with to try and get him off this release clause. Um, Joe Ridley, we haven't um, did we discuss with him. Maybe we didn't. Oh no, he's got um a two-year option to extend which we just haven't exercised yet a gungbo um is uh, not been talking to nor has van velian tyler mcglaw we have um, extended his contract by a year plus i think we've got a two-year option on that uh, we've extended human i think we've got an extension on that we had to give him quite a pay rise as you would expect uh de costa um two-year contract and i think we've got a two-year extension available on that as well didn't increase his salary. Um, the Riva, we haven't discussed anything with. He's got two years left and 10 million we would take. 
Uh, to Alaco, don't need to. We've got three years left and no release clause, I don't think. That's right. Um, and then uh, Kapani, uh, we'll give a thousand pound pay rise to, but it gets rid of his release clause. Um, but he still retains his sell on fee percentage. Um, Edouard Bove, um, we get rid of his release fees and we get rid of his sell on fee percentage. Um, all for 250 quid pay rise. And then Barlow, uh, we get uh, we double, uh, almost double his release fee to 14 million. They, they made it mandatory that he had one in his contract. Um, but we do that uh, by giving him a 200 quid pay rise. So, uh, you know, I'm really confident this guy is going to make it. This guy is going to be one of the, you know, an absolutely awesome, awesome goalkeeper. Um, so what we don't want is someone coming and getting him for, for 7 million when we could get 14. Um, so I promised to look at that and I now have. We'll put that in context of salaries once they've all signed up. Um, so all that's to do now is discuss my contract. So let's go in here. How long have I got left anyway? It's a twenty seven, so I've got an extra year on it. Off a week. Why are you trying to be a skin flint? Still got two years left on it, um, so we'll just uh, carry on away. Liverpool win the FA Cup this year. Oh, all in extra time, and it was a reverse of what happened. Uh, sorry, on penalties, it was a reverse of what happened last year when Everton won. Um, last minute equaliser, pretty much as well. So unlucky. Oh, hang on, what am I talking about? Was that the semi final? <laughs> yeah, that was the semi final, right? Okay, so Liverpool haven't won it. It was in the semis, they knocked them out. Bad face, Rotherham. 23 23s. Okay, Croft Park conference is about to begin. Um, great occasion. EFL Young Player of the Year. No, 
comment. The Reva gets a tweak. Ion takes his team call. Arsenal beat Man United. Piet to set the sign, Rufus Piet on the 9th of June. Accept. And here we are, match day. Match day, match time. Slight underdogs. Okay, that I'm cool. Start. Bob coming for what's it there? For Gumbo, and here we go. Rocky gets us underway. Here come Rotherham attacking. First 10 minutes of the game, Palmer. Three by Hume. Kept in. Galloway. Oh! Strikes and Cummings heads it in. Wow. Gives it to Vice. Vice wins it back from Gomez. Gives it to D'Amico. To Hume. D'Amico. Hume. Move. Hume. Move. Hume. Right. Phillips fixes it on. D'Amico. Shoots straight to Talbot. Stays 1 0 to Rotherham. Kick Hume to take, crosses it. Right, Phillips now gets straight to Talbot's hands. Free kick hits the wall. Hume with a free a corner, sorry. D'Amico nods it and Rocky puts it in. I think it might be going in anyway. That is a bit of a poacher's goal. D'Amico. Could be close, but it's a good finish by Rocky anyway. One each. Philip losing out. Force 
Good chance by McLeod, but White now has it. Now Palmer looks for Holmes. Zanella nods it back calmly to Barlow. Five minutes to half time. Six minutes, sorry. Rocky under it. Brings it down wonderfully. Loses out to Johnson. Sanderson nods it to Zanella down the left. Inside to Hume. Back to Zanella. Looks inside. Crosses right for Phillips. Really team header. Um, please need to bomb on a bit. Approaching half time, two minutes of injury time to play. Tick follows talk, follows tick, follows talk. That's half time, we've come back into it rather well, deservedly so. Uh, and it's a draw on each. Um, don't really need to look at much else at half time. I just want to see how high up we can finish the season. I'm going to beat my 54 point target that I set myself at the start of the season. Zanella. Turns it to Miko. He runs. Gives it to Vice. Vice able to hit one. Good block. McGlaw's in. Strikes one with fury. And what a save by the keeper. I mean it was pretty much straight out of but good strong wrist. Puts it out for a corner. Hume crosses. Over moving towards it. Vice it's one not the way by Galloway. Right Phillips crosses it in. Sanderson nods it straight at the keeper. Good tackle by Hume prevents the breakaway. But here comes Fosu. Good block. Good double block and it's a win. To Rotherham. Okay, so um move off for Sanders. Switch those two around. Deep line playmaker. Register. Right, Phillips is coming off for Broha. Three quarters of the game gone. Darby coming back against Brighton. Back to Barlow. To De Amico. Comes down the right hand side now, gets tackled, and it's gone out for a corner. Hume to take. Oh, header, a gun ball. Going wide. Breuer to the goalwards. 2 1. Super sub strikes again. Just slow this one down so we can see what happens. The gun ball wins the header. It's going wide. What a volley by Broha. Eighth of the season for him. Heading into the final 10 minutes. De Amico is going to make way for Capani or Ridley. Capani looking for his bonus for the air. Palmer, let's go inside, Hume clears, Rocky has it, feeds it to Capani, drifts straight past the defender but he can't put his shot on target, Rocky maybe chose the wrong option, he should have maybe chose uh, Broha who was breaking down the right, Cardiff pulling another one back and now only 3-2 down at Reading, 
Vice has it. Going to Capone out wide on the left. Crosses to defend it. The draw loses out to Dolly Fosu. Wide of the post. Throwing the draw to Hugh. The draw blocked. 4700 in the crowd. Fosu turns his man. Bring it forward. Lindsay can he hit one? No, White will. And he scores. Don't know why I'm still doing all out attack, but uh, I was, and we're going to carry on. We're all going to shoot on the site now as well. Five minutes to add on. Come on, Capani with a winner. Sanders. Say to Hume, to Zanella, to Capani. Good save by Tolbert. Should have squared it, he had several options beside him. One minute to go and that'll be full time. No, nope, Dolly has a chance. Good tackle by McGlaw, we're going to have to face a corner. Go by Gungo and Broha. Palmer steals it and it's half time. Eh, full time, sorry. Uh, two to each. Disappointing. Deserve have to win that. My mistake. I forgot to tell us not to it. Be overly attacking. And we conceded. Rather than hold on to draw. Brighton secure playoff spot. Yes, they do indeed. Um, sorry. All the way down to 10th. Charlton can't quite get there. Yeah, we've made... 49 points now it should have been 51 with that two points i've just thrown away so we're probably not going to make 54 we'd have to win both of our games to do that um looks like portsmouth won the did against fulham um luton lost at huddersfield uh, swansea lost against hull and um, what have got a better goal difference as well so the chances are Pompey need at least four points and Luton are pretty much dead and buried. Um, let's just have a quick look at our schedule. Um, we've got a game coming up on Saturday and then we've got um, a break of uh, an extra day to play Reading on this Sunday eight days later. Uh, we're going to call that the end of this episode. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, apologies for the overrun, but wanted to get both of those games in. Um, until next time, stay safe. Bye-bye.